Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again and I thought I was through with all my Christmas things because I've bought everything but what I had forgotten was a money wallet uh, for Lola for her Christmas money um, she's at that age now she wants to buy her own things so I've made this lovely little money wallet I think this one would be perfect for because it's only six and I meant it to be six and a half it would be perfect for ten pound notes which are slightly smaller than twenty and I've made it so, but I need that quarter inch either side so I can adhere my card down. So the next one we're going to make is going to be half an inch bigger. So I've got a quarter of an inch either side, but it would normally fit a twenty pound note in because I measured the twenty pound note, and they're three and one eighth by five and seven eighths. So what I did is just folded this little corner here, just to pop that in there. She'll have more than that in there. She'll have five of these in, going in there off me and Bampy for Christmas um, but you've got to make sure you've got enough for your your tape either side and Silly Sausage Me did not do that but it fits in there perfectly and I've decorated the insides and the top as well and now it's got this beautiful cute little belly band and it just slides on and off so easily so we're going to make one of these I've added some stickers on the back because my daughter wants one for Lola as well because she's giving her money as well so she can have this one and I'll give her the, the one I'm making now and I'm using Santa's workshop for this one I've already cut uh, my two in a quarter inch circle out I have some scrap here to give it a bit of substance I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to adhere that onto the just for a bit more stability and maybe even put some white on the back so you can write who it's off on there so that's that piece of paper that's left over from this my card stock is six and a half by seven and a quarter I also got a piece that is one and a quarter by seven and a quarter this is going to make our belly band You'll need one piece of designer series paper that is three and one eighth by five and seven eighths. And then you will need three pieces. These are one and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And we're going to round the corners on the top wallet. So we're going to round the corners on the top on one of these and the bottom on another. So it, they coincide. Or you can turn them over and have this paper. We'll see now what we're going to do. I might have the Father Christmas on the inside. And the canes on the outside. So let's uh, let's get some scoring done. This is so simple. We're going to score this. Oh, that's not my uh, simply scored. Oops, it's only two score lines. It is, and I need it on the long side. And we're going to score at two inches and five and a quarter. So that gives us two inches here, two inches here, and three and a quarter here. And you, your bank note is three and one eighth. So we've got a little space. So I'm going to now fold and burnish my score lines. And I think my designer series paper isn't going to work now. No, it's not. <laughs> I can put it in the center just like that and I'll leave those strips and I'll put some washi tape or something down there but now I've done it wider you're going to need them to be one and an eighth by six and one eighth let me just grab my paper it won't take minutes to cut some more cardstock I've got plenty left Perhaps we might pick a different pattern. You never know. Oh, I've got lots to choose from in here. I've got this piece. I think I'll use this piece the same as what I was going to use. I've got some spots as well. I never thought about the extra, the extra slice. See, I'm making the mistakes so you don't have to. So now these need to be six and one eighth. those bits back so that'll make something else and we need three and one eighth and 
three at six and one eighth by seven and one eighth. So I will need that piece there as well. Oh, this is going to run the wrong way. Hmm. Ah ha ha. Gainer, you're running the wrong way. I do have another piece, I think. And no, I don't. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to use there. I'm going to use a piece of this and use the spots. So six and one eighth. And one and seven eighths. Perfect. So we might use, we'll have the spots and the, that way, and then we'll have our Father Christmas the other way. Oh, there we go. Now we're on track. <laughs> I'm going to fold and burnish the score lines. And then fetch in the corner rounder, because this is going to be our top flap. So I'm going to round the corners off. going to crew on the weekend to see them so I can't wait. I'm not looking forward to the dry but now this is going to be our top flap you need if you're going to have the creatures looking at you you need them to be at the top that way so that piece will fit there even if we decide to flip it, we would have still cut the corners. That looks, still looks a bit short, doesn't it? <laughs> it's my fault. Our Santa then is... Yeah, it still looks short. Oh, I know why. Again, again, again. You're just going to have a little bit of a border either side. That way our tape will fit there. So I'm rushing again. But it doesn't matter, that looks still cute. Same with this here. We can line our paper up together. And you will also need one cut for this way. So we're going to cut at the bottom of the corner. So I am having Santa showing. More than likely. It is a, it is a Christmas wallet anyway, so there we go. There's our bits. Gonna get some glue. And we're just going to glue these on. Just so it's nice to give um, your money to her because she is very sensible. She does like to buy her own clothes. And oh, look at that stuck solid. She loves. Um, I'm going to do that, I think. Yes, definitely. I'm not having them on the outside. She loves to go and buy her own clothes, and she's at that age now. She's going to be 12 in June. And, I mean, when I was 12, I was in a hospital having my appendix removed, not thinking about going to town. And my mother would never have let me go to town. Never. Oh, and yet it's... It's safer back then when I was 12 than it is now, but oh my gosh, it scares me. Oh, why can't kids be kids for a little bit longer? I love my granddaughter so much, but she's very hard to buy for when she's got everything anyway. So this will go to her, her fund for her new clothes. I thought I'd stop that down then. Well, We'll be doing that in a minute. So I'm following the lines now on my designer series paper. So it matches up. Just give that. And this has got that lovely earth locking on it, on the, the white bits. It's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. So when I add my tape, let's glue our last piece in. I'm loving this, this little nozzle, hardly using any glue whatsoever. So 
again line up give that you could at this point use velcro dots um, I've done that in the wrong place <laughs> but I've decorated the inside I'm having a bad day come on let's get some more paper cut <laughs> only in the land of Gina so I've got some more long strips here bless my little cotton socks as I would say to somebody else I'm going to give that a good flattening because of that flocking on the other side it needs to be pressed down so the adhesive can make it stick so one more time <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I've got to keep it the same width though now otherwise it'll look silly now I'm going to go for that piece oh talking see I can't do t I'm not I'm not a very good multitasker well, I am. I am normally. I can talk and mess up all at the same time. <laughs> so I would do it six and three eighths because the paper's six and a half, not one eighth. That's better. There we go. We've got it decorated in the right place. At least the money's going to stay warm with all that paper. <laughs> you could add a Velcro dot or a magnet. You could have done that before you added your paper. But I am loving the fact that we're going to have a tiny little belly band. And what I'm doing is I'm getting it level with the rim of the paper card. And I'm just gently pressing. Fetching it round. And I'm going to leave. And when I... I'm going to pull it backwards just a little fraction and then squeeze so there's a little bit of space. So I can slide it on and off easily. So I'm going to pop a line of glue. Just here because that goes all the way down. So I'm just adding glue on this bit. making sure our card lines up edge to edge so it's nice and straight just give that a little press just for it to adhere down and we've got plenty of wiggle space to take that on and off I'm going to glue my little lovely little Santa Claus you could put it the reserve, reverse way round and put the numbers 25 on there just fits on there perfectly because it's cut from the same punch just lovely pop that to the middle I'm just going to give that a little crease and there as well so when we add our Mrs Claus because Santa's there and all the elves so we can't leave Mummy Claus out so what I'm going to do now is add glue to the back but only down this centre strip few seconds what else have I straightened her up she was on the wonk and her feet were sticking out <laughs> perfect absolutely perfect take our money out and it sh should oh no well it would help if we glued it up first now Gina wouldn't it so pop that back on see I'm rushing I'm running before I can walk as they say so I've got this tape it's like one eighth of an inch thick and it's really really strong I love this stuff and it's not something you can tear off with your fingers definitely not so I'm just going to add the piece to the edge of here I need my scissors for this Whoops. Very strong. 
very very strong and I'm going to flip it round and add a strip to here and I'm going as close to the edges as possible love this stuff oh you can get this in Hobbycraft or in the range or online with a place called Sticks 2 fabulous stuff so I'm going to press that down it's just so that tape on the back stays put I pop my scissors back. Cool. There we go. Didn't want to come up. And then I'm just going to fold that over, making sure it's edge to edge. And then we can attach, attach. We can pop in our 20 pound note. Yay, look, it works and it fits. There we go, all the way down. And then you can just fold that over. You could perhaps put a piece of paper on the back so you can write a message. You could do it on the belly band. Um, just so you can write who it's from and who it's to. You could add a little gift tag even. It's maybe carrying on that sweet, but isn't that beautiful? I have got some embellishments somewhere from the Santa's workshop. Let me just see if I can find them in amongst all my bits. I have got wooden elements here as well, saying Noel. Oh, I forgot I got these. Uh, oh, I know where they are. I know where they are. They are in with my Memories and More pack for the same... The little boxes I made from the memos and more. In here, my embellishments are in here. There they go. They're beautiful elements. So, I'm just going to grab a few out. Because she's a little girl, she's going to get some little bows. And I'm going to pop. I'm going to pop one right there. And I'm going to put a little green dot and a little red and a white dot, I think, because you won't see the red against the red too brightly. Will we get one up there? Yes, of course we will. And again, the same, but swapping the ends. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Love it. I adore this and we have some little Christmas trees as well and snowflakes and I'm just going to pop one here and I'm going to scatter a few little snowflakes just on the bottom. Isn't that cute? Oh I love it, look at that red bow, it's so shiny. You could add some decoration on the back as well, it's entirely up to you. But I thought I was done with Christmas because I got all my stuff ready. But alas, no. I've still got my pen and pencils in there. I've got my elements. I've also got my cards still. Oh, I could have used some of these. Oh, I've got stickers there as well. Look. Should we add a few on the back? Put my little elf on the back, I think. Looks like a stamp then. What else have we got? Oh, there we go. There we go. We've got December the 25th. Let's stick that on there. Right on the belly band. To let us say it's not to open till Christmas. love these little elements you get with these just superb just superb and let's go for one of these just up here oh you could decorate and embellish all this all you want <clears throat> just love it so there is my little simple money wallet 
so I can give my gorgeous granddaughter Christmas money. And there's one there for her mum, so she can give her money as well. There we have it. Just a small project tonight, ladies, but a good one. Um, if you've got any last minute gifts and you haven't got time to go and do some shopping, but you would sooner give uh, some penny when it is, there it is. You can have a nice little festive money wallet to give to your grandkids or to a neighbour. They'd be, oh, I love these. They'd be nice. Um, I would give, oh, I'm going to do one of these. We always give the postman money at Christmas. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to keep this one actually, and I'm going to make an extra one for my daughter because she'll probably give twenty pound notes. So I'm going to give this one to my postman. I'm going to take the stickers off the bat though. I don't think he'll appreciate that. <laughs> so that that one would be for a ten pound note, and this one is for a twenty, or even a five. But you there's your money wallet. I hope you like. Give them a thumbs up. Give my little girl, they're so sweet. You could make these even smaller in the same principle and use as a gift card holder. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to love and leave you all now. Uh, thankfully, all my Christmas stuff is done so I can get back to uh, making all those beautiful cards for you all and all those little 3D projects that I've got lined up and come back soon. If you haven't ever subscribed already, please press the button here. I would really appreciate that. And if you want to see what I make tomorrow, don't forget to press the little bell and you'll be notified of all future videos. Till next time, love you all. Bye.